Welcome back, boys and girls. So at this point, you have your lion face completed, and now the big surprise is revealed because we added the mouth. So you have this really fun, roaring lion. Now it's time to think about adding some colors. Now, what I would suggest you do is look around your home, see if you have any of the following materials that could add color. One is crayons. Now, I don't have crayons, but I do happen to have a box of oil pastels that we sometimes use in the classroom. So those would be great, oil pastels or crayons. Maybe you have some markers. These are some markers I found around my mm -hmm. house and I know that they could work. I have a black, definitely gonna need a little yellow. So another thing I found in my daughter's room and you may have our color pencils. So any of these crayons, oil pastels, markers, or color pencils can work perfectly for coloring in your lion. So what colors do we need? Well, if you remember, gave you a Google sheet showing your finished drawing with the folded lines here. And remember, boys and girls, you do not need to add those red dotted lines. Those are just there to remind you where the folds are. I'm actually gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut my lion photo out so I can keep it nearby while I'm coloring so I can get some ideas of what colors I might wanna use for the lion's face. So I'm seeing some browns and oranges. And since I'm thinking about trying out the different materials to show you what they can do, I'm gonna take some yellow, some orange, and a light brown. So I'm gonna start with markers, but I'm gonna show you different things that you could use. So let's start with the markers. So I could use, putting the caps on the bottom of these so I don't lose them. I'm gonna have my markers ready here. I could use the tan to start coloring in my lion's mane here. With a little bit of the tan I see. But I also see some oranges and yellows in there. So I'm not just going to stick with one color. I'm gonna mix other colors into it to see what I can do. And I definitely see a bit of orange. This is maybe a lighter orange, but I kind of like the layering of colors. I think when you use colors that are in the same color family, like these all are kind of in the warm color family of yellows and browns, if they can work well together. I'm gonna add a bit more orange up here. And some yellow again, maybe down here. And then I'll blend a little bit of that brown between the two. So there you can see what you could do with markers. Now notice how I'm just working on one section at a time. That's a good way to approach your picture. What other colors do we see here? Well, it certainly has a dark nose. That's why we put it in dark. And there's a lot of brown on that nose bridge. So maybe I'll put these markers aside and I'll show you what you could do if you were using, say, colored pencils. So I have some colored pencils here, and I'm just gonna sh focus maybe on the nose bridge. So I'm gonna put, um, I think I'll start with that light yellow again. And again, I'm just gonna color it in lightly, because I really do like the idea of blending colors. I'm going to notice that there's a bit more dark brown in there, so I'm going to start adding some of that dark brown on top. And with color pencils, the harder you press, like if I really wanna show off a little bit of the wrinkles in his nose here, the darker the color will become, the harder you press. And then a little peach maybe near the edges here. And that's sort of finishing up the bridge of the nose. Now, what if I wanted to use crayons or I wanted to use those oil pastels? Let's get those out. The difference between oil pastels and crayons are these are a little creamier, they blend and smear better, whereas crayons are waxier, so you're not gonna get so much of that. Um, I'm noticing that in his face, there's some white areas, so I'm gonna put some white 
You say, but Ms. Benter, it's not just white there. There's other colors mixed in. I would say, you know what? You're right. So this is another opportunity to blend one color on top of the other. So I'm bringing in some of that peachy color here. And then maybe I'll bring in some of this golden yellow that really reminds me of a lion. And see, I can even mix materials. I could mix oil pastels right in with color pencils. Maybe use a combination of color pencil, like I did over here on the nose with oil pastel and marker. You figure out what you want to do and then really have some fun bringing out all those details of your lion. Can't wait to see your pictures. I will show you a, um, maybe a completed lion that I'm gonna work on later on. Have fun and make a really colorful lion.